Before you watch this video, I need you to watch part one. You don't want to miss that. After you're done watching it, come back to me. As you know, I am single and I am living the single life. I'm out here traveling, doing my damn thing. Now, does that make me unhappy? We're gonna go ahead and watch part two. So if y'all are single, you might wanna watch this. So Anthony O'Neill posted a video called, Ladies, is this why he's single? Trigger warning, part two. Now the only problem that I have with this series is that these are based on heterosexual relationships. Now love is love, so homosexual relationships can also relate. But when you have two different genders, the roles are kind of different. So there's gonna be some things that I might not understand from a man's perspective, but we're gonna go ahead and react. Are y'all ready? Cause I am, let's get it. Could you date someone who makes three times your income? I mean, that just sounds like it'll end in turmoil, so. So I, could, I, could. I couldn't. I couldn't. He said he couldn't. I couldn't. Oh. I couldn't. I could not. But I'm gonna explain it after they say a few things. The idea of what you want to tolerate. What you want to tolerate? <laughs> you see? Men are actually just communicate a lot more than women. Men, women can be so indirect. Oh, forget you then. We don't need to date. Don't come to me later. And now you want to be an open book. And I gave you the platform. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> this guy. So that was a recap of part one. Watch my reaction to it. Would you date someone that is not as successful as you? Of course. Yeah. Define okay. Yeah. I, I was going to say, she was probably going to say it right now before I cut her off. Define successful because success can mean different things to different people. For me, being successful is finding your purpose in life and actually living a happy life, finding your happiness. To me, that's successful. Some people think finances, being financially stable. Some people think building a family is successful. Some people think traveling the world is successful. Explain the question. Success. Of course. Like. Like, could you date someone who is the manager at Walmart? Absolutely. So you mean financially? Yeah, absolutely. That is just not even on the radar of importance for me. I think it depends on who they are as a person. Like, are they successful yeah. in their spirit? Do they love the Lord? Are they spending time with them? That's what I'm looking at. I'm yeah. not looking at how much money they make. As somebody who would be deemed successful and, you know, strong-willed and a challenger. I don't need every man to be content in dating a powerful woman like me. I just need that one man too. So wherever he is, yeah, bring no? it on. Go ahead, girl. Both of y'all have built some major stuff. So I'm like, could you honestly do it? I mean, if he's living on his purpose, yes. but the money looks different, fine. If he's just doing a job because he's got to go somewhere every day, right. I can get down with that. Right. Mm -hmm. See, for me, I don't want to date someone who is making double the income plus more than I am. Only because I'm just used to being that person um, that is more financially dominant. Do I want someone to be uh, independent and have their own money and in that way? Yes, I do want that still because I am older. I am 36 years old. So I want us to build together. Now, uh, do I look at a Walmart employee and be like, there's no way in hell that I would ever date you because you work at Walmart? No, I, I don't judge someone on, off of what kind of job they have. Building together, we can make some, sh we can make some shit happen. I want a teammate, I mean, it's the, the teammate word is so strong to me and the like energy levels matching and mm. the passion matching and going like, if you care as much about your thing as I care about my thing, we're gonna be great. Mm. I think it comes down to like motivation and purpose. You just can't, you can't break it out of the granular like that mm -hmm. and say like, absolutely not or absolutely yes. Right. You have to like try it out. You have to, people are so unique and special and different and they're gonna react differently to different situations. So come on y'all. So, so <laughs> I agree with her because it is more complicated than that. I would still date someone who is struggling financially. It's not what I'm looking for, but I, I still would. As long as they excel in other areas. If you can make me happy emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially, it don't mean shit, okay? But if you can't do none of it, <laughs> why the fuck are we together? Watch this. Could you be with a woman 
who is stronger than you, Ooh. who makes three times your income. When you walk in the room, they don't recognize you. They recognize Oh, her. shit. It's more money than you. Oh, I've shit. I've been in that situation where I've dated a woman more successful than me. Like, I crave that. I want you to be more famous than me. <laughs> what? Because guess what? Why? At the end of the day, y'all get to see her sometimes. I get to see her all the time. So, <laughs> but when that situation... See, this is going to be interesting because there is an ego and a pride when it comes to a man's mentality. So when they are not seen and when a woman doesn't need, and I'm going to put in quotations, doesn't need them, they feel as if she is more superior than them. And it's only because of society and that's how it's been for so long. So I can understand why these guys might feel a certain way. woman that's making $3 million dollars a year, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm making $75,000. I mean, when you do go in a room with that woman, they acknowledge her and they don't acknowledge you. So that's a, that's a hard blow and it's a consistent blow, mm -hmm. right? And you deal with that when y'all are alone and those are two different energies. See, now y'all are clashing, you know? Mm -hmm. So where is the communication? Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, that just sounds like it'll end in turmoil. So, mm -hmm. so I, then could, what's the I couldn't, ooh, ooh, ooh. I couldn't. <laughs> he said he could. I could. <laughs> I, I, I respect that, though. It's, 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 it, it is what it is. Because if he can, he I'm can. thinking about the path that I'm going down when she's already there. Mm. So how does those dates look? You know, mm. what vacations are y'all going on? Who's paying for all this? Ooh. Right. You know, uh. so I'm going to tell you where your thought process is going to change. And it, it's crazy because, dude, What's coming out of your mouth, That that's what came out of my mouth. There at 25, it kind of just threw me backwards. I knew what my thought process was at 25. The only reason that that situation feels uncomfortable is because you don't know who you are. Right, right. You ain't totally strapped in. No, oh, I just ripped out. No, 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 because... I, I kind I kind of do agree with him. I get what he's trying to say. He's a bad communicator. If y'all seen my last reaction to it, he, he's bad with words. So I don't think he's explaining it well. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to be confident in the relationship. So it wouldn't even matter how much money the woman makes. And if you're confident in yourself and you know what you bring to the table, stuff like that wouldn't matter to you. But then again, sometimes it's just not what people want. If that's not what you want, that's okay too. I can walk into a room with somebody world-renowned. I'm cool, you know why? Because why what, Why do I even want the attention at that uh, point? Nah. Like, that's just me. Nah. Yeah. With me, nah. I'm just that person where it's like... Nah. I, Hold on, my dog is making noises down here. Hold on. He's trying to get my attention. He's bringing his toy right here, making noises. I dated a girl who made a good amount of money. I just think about it as the, the relationship aspect, you know, She's going to want to find the things in life. She's going to have the money to stuff that you cannot afford. I know money is... But she she don't want you to get it for her. She can get it on her own. She still don't need you. <laughs> That's the thing. You shouldn't have the feeling of needing someone. You should want them. She doesn't need you. Big thing, but a that. relationship is more than just love. If, if I would date a woman that was more successful um, than me, I would genuinely have to have a strong relationship with that woman. But you're also saying that for someone to be super successful, they're bougie. Ooh. Mm. That's not necessarily true. Yeah, what if, what right. if all of in her money sense. is putting back in the business and building right. this business hey, and building investing. this thing and she still lives? Mm. I mean, Anthony is successful. He lives on a budget. Right. Right? So, yeah, we know so. That's true. <laughs> I'm making double the money that I used to make now. And I'm living as a minimalist. Just because I have it doesn't mean I'm going to go off and spend it. Be smarter than that. <laughs> I, can, I can love some bougie life, too. Like, I can feel what you're saying. Right. But I just would also say that there's a chance she makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And she uses it in a really smart way. Mm -hmm. And is it maybe as bougie as a $3 million would make you think she is? I don't think that... I wouldn't want someone who is more financially successful than I am. And it's only because of my own insecurities. If I can't financially put in more when it comes to bills and the mortgage and stuff like that, what else do I have to offer? Because in all my relationships, they were the ones who cooked, who cleaned, and I took care of the finances, the majority of the finances, cut the grass, you know, do outside work. 
that's how it's always been. I wouldn't be used to the woman being able to financially provide because then, damn, like what, what else can I do? You know, what do I have to offer if I don't have that? That just comes with insecurity. As to, you know, have all the money in the world, like more than me. Um, but if we have some sense of like, you know, relationship with one another, then I mean, I don't think the money really matters. I mean, when you really think about it, if you can put yourself in those shoes. Honestly, walking in the room, I don't care who gives her recognition because all those people are temporary. Mm. I'm the one at the house with her. You yeah. know, okay. right. every so, day. If anything, she's really going to recognize my support, my yeah. attention. That yes. She because that's what matters most. Because that's all she if wants. I, if she doesn't have that, then all the recognition she gets from everyone else falls apart. <laughs> she doesn't care about that. That's yes. not what matters to her. Because right? at the end of the day, she's going to come home to an empty house and she's like, well, I have no one to share this with. It's not Facts. all about... For example, in my uh, couples channel when I used to be married, I got compliments in my comments. It didn't matter. Like, I don't know those people. Thank you for the comments, but what I want to hear that from is from my wife, because that's what matters to me. She's the one I'm married to. She's the one that I love. I get it. Social status of the relationship. You know, that was kind of Wesley's driving argument is the things that we're going to do as a couple, as, as, as husband and wife, as we interact with each other, is going to be driven by money. Well, just because we're making, just because she's making that money doesn't mean everything we do is revolved around money. I see what you're saying. But experience a little bit more life and go through a couple more circumstances where it forces you to really take a look at how you're looking at it and see if you still think the same way. So you guys know me. I'm a money guy. And I just believe in, you know, especially with single people, uh, we should be really working on ourselves for our future. Mm -hmm. Could you honestly marry someone that has a lot of debt? Mm -hmm. Mm, not at all. I can't. That's, 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 <laughs> marriage? No. Definitely not. Because that's gonna bring us both down. And I didn't work this hard to get to the level to get to the level that I'm at just to be brought down from your bad decisions. Can't do it, especially at this age. Hell fucking no. Get your shit together first and then we'll think about it. <laughs> oh, comfortability yeah. is yeah. not yeah. willing to change it. Mm -hmm. And nah. No. Yeah. Cause it's only gonna hurt me because if I'm worried about it and you not worried about it, now that's your problem a problem. My problem. Yes. So you're saying, because I don't know your situation. So you're saying if you have debt right now, you're trying to get out of debt. Yes. And you want to match with someone who's also trying to get out of debt as Same well. Same goals. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh right. well, that's different. Are we? Are we? Do it together. I love We're moving towards the same. <laughs> so we moving in the same direction mentally. I mean, $60,000 on a credit card is different than student loans to me. Okay. And $60,000 on a credit card versus, hey, my, my dad passed away and I have some family debt now that I have to handle. That's yeah, true. That's a whole different story. That is a whole different story. Those weren't bad decisions. That's life situations that happens. Shit happens. A guy showing up being like, <coughs> that I would be okay with. Love using my credit card. It'll sort itself out. I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. it's been fun. <laughs> That's, that doesn't do anything for me. But I think it's a conversation. Would yeah. I date? Would I go on a date with a guy who has debt? Sure. Absolutely. Am yeah. I going to commit my life with his life? Probably not. No. Probably not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I, I fix the debt first <laughs> before marriage plays a part. On the commitment just because maybe you just don't have any financial literacy. So maybe that's something I have that you don't and I can teach you and we oh, can wrap good. that up together. Mm -hmm. So that's just my take on it. That's a good word. That's good. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. I like that. So let's say right there. Let me get y'all's opinion on something. I was hoping we were going to do this. Me too. <laughs> I love this. I love these conversations. I love this group talk. <laughs> oh shit, part three. What's part three about? Who initiated the conversation? The if yep. we keep dating feels like, she hey, if, if you stick her, like, almost like you have to earn that. Yeah, like, that's kind of how I heard it. Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> we don't know what, what she thought. What says that she doesn't have to earn that right? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I didn't understand that, so I'll probably watch that shit again. I will be reacting to part three. All right, you guys. Tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.